Hello friends, this is Tito Bata and welcomes you in our YouTube channel and thank you for joining Interview Point. Okay, so in this video, I am going to discuss about one of the most important is nothing but as a free tag architecture. Okay, so in this video, I am going to discuss step by step how to work with free tag architecture. So it is also the most important for the developer, for every developer and also it is the interview uh, machine test. Okay. So you need to understand step by step. Okay, so now let's get started. So in this uh, video, I am going to work on that example. As you can see here, student name, email, fees, and course. Okay, so first we need to design this this table and uh, this design. Okay, first we need to design. Okay, after that we need to we need two tables. First is course course is drop down list. Okay. So I will get that data from drop down, drop down list. Okay. And what word table is student table. So now first we need to create the table. Okay, so I am going to open my uh, SQL Server Management Studio. I have 2014 and uh, as Visual Studio 2015. Okay, first open my uh, SQL Server. Okay, so it is now open and visual studio okay so we need to design that page okay friends so we need to create a new website okay so in this video you will get all the things step by step so let's see here empty website i am going to use here my website name will be Data demo, okay. Data demo, okay. This is my website name. I'm going to click on OK button, so it will add this website. Okay, now this is added. Okay, so we need to design the page and see here there is no page. First, we need to add some pages here. Web form, okay. One web form. We need to add here web form. Click on OK button. I need to design here my design. Uh, one more thing is we need to create the table. So I am going to create the table, two tables. Okay, student table and course table. So that uh, code is also I have already had for saving our time. Okay. So here I am going to use this three tier DV demo first we need to check it is available or not so this is not available okay it does not exist so first we need to create the database okay so i am going to use first you can see here master now i am going to use this database okay now here three tier DV so first we need to create course table here the course table for CID primary key and course name is Two columns is there. Okay, so and my table is created successfully. Now we need to insert some data. So my arrow is affected. Now we need to check select asterisk from PVL course. Okay, so now this is our data. So now we need to create one more table. Okay. So this in this table I am going to this is my table name table student SID is my primary key name email is and course ID here I am using course ID because I need to check take the course from here okay based on ID so but I will show you in the course name okay so for that purpose we need to you can see in this picture it is the drop down list okay so for drop down list we need to Select all the course name. For that purpose, I am going to create a store procedure. Okay, so I have this procedure tab here. So create procedure procedure name. It is SP get all course and as wing select extract from courses. Okay, so it is created. One more procedure is required for me because I want to bind one uh, grid view here. So I want to show all the inserted data. In the grid view for that purpose we need to one more store procedure for that purpose i am going to create one more procedure okay 
so this all the code is available i will give you the link in the description box okay so one more thing is here friends if you are going for an interview so aptitude is also important for you so don't forget to visit my another channel this is my tfh tk button channel here you will get all the fast track map okay aptitude question so here i have already uh, made video it is very easy okay easy way so you can you don't forget to miss don't miss to watch okay so now again come back here so now i need to design some table here so i need to put one table here so this is my division in this division i need to put one table actually this code is also available for with me so i will this i want to tell you something the calls you can design easily so first we need to take html table here from chain okay put that table here okay so this table is work what what i want to do here select two and uh, first here i need to change the property because here you will get one style okay style column change the style so position so i want to block okay text run is left say for that this column i need to center text color center okay guys and uh, one more thing is required for position i and this is 20 and and here block text line is okay so how many columns is required one two three four four five columns is required okay <coughs> I am going to create a column here. Okay, in the first column I need to use here for this one. Okay. Okay, we need to. And the table is the background color. Okay, background color is I think okay. So my this is background color. What we need to put here some label, and I need to create here name like that. Name email. And here text box. I am not going to create all the design. So first, I am just going to show you how to create table. Okay. So I want to save my screen and so first uh, put one text box here from my standard one text box here. Put that text box here and here email and here this column. And here, drop down list. So here, of course, this is my. Just I am going to show you how to choose, how to put all the table here. Drop down list. Drop down list. This is my drop down list. Okay. So button. How to click button? Button is available here. This is button. Okay, so one more thing is required for me. I want to use uh, one grid view. So I am going to put one grid view here. So grid view is available in data. This is okay. double click on this. Now our grid view is available. Now you can see our 
present bracket. So that's all the present I have already typed here for seven hour time. I'm going to copy and paste. So okay, this present is also available. In, I will give you in my blog. I will give you the link. Okay, don't worry. For that, all the design. Body part I am going to copy and I want to paste it here in the body section. Body section start from and it is here and start from here. Okay, this is my body section. So my table is created successfully. Okay, one label is also here. So now one more thing I need to change here. It is not mandatory, so it are done. Okay. So now our plan is available. So now I want to work on that. So first we need to uh, we need to add some. So I am going to here the solution data time. And I am going to add one more new project. Okay, guys. So new project I am going to create here. Windows is a uh, class library. Okay, guys. So I am going to click on OK button. So the class library is added. Actually, we need to change the name of that class library. So I am going to first delete this. And uh, okay. so I'm going to again set so class library. My class library name will be data access layer. So D A L A Y D. Okay, data access layer. So now click on OK button. It's data access is added. So it is not required, so let me drop this. So I need to create some class here. So public public class. So this is my data access layer class here. Okay, so DAL class. I am going to give the name of DAL DAL class. Okay. So two method is required for me. So I want to work on two method insert detail and get detail. So for that purpose we need to create two method create uh, public void insert detail okay insert detail and after that one more method is required for me so public public object is object type and get detail page detail is money and uh, integer type and also on that text okay so that's why I'm taking okay so I need to work on that so it is object type it is must return from me so first I need to work on that so SQL connections SQL connection it is not available because we need to import some namespace so using system dot data Using system dot data dot SQL client. Okay, SQL client. Uh, after SQL connection form. SQL connection form is my object name. Is SQL connection is not it is a class available. So the new SQL connection. So my connection name. Here you need to pass your connection string. So data source. Data source is equal to my, my database name. Data source name is Gautam. Okay. So database. Database. My database is Retire TV. Retire TV. Okay. After that, user ID. ID is nothing but passive. 
okay so after that and password password is two one two three okay after that we need to, what I want to get here insert details we need to insert email okay email Is after that post. Okay, friends. Now we need to write the code SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter TA is equal to new SQL data adapter. We need to do command. Okay, so insert the SQL query, then insert into into is the option so we will need you can do the option as well my table name is table we can do so you can see here table name is open okay fish okay fish here after that we need to insert the values okay values is nothing but First, after this, okay. So first we need to add name. Then copy, copy this paste. Okay. So now, okay. Then after that, email. Is empty post. Okay, guys. After that, what I want to do here is to so it is done now. So we need to data table here. Data table DT is equal to New data table, it is the object. Okay, so after that, that data dot fill all the fill method and what I want to do. Okay, now write the code for that, that object. So as well, data adapter. Okay, SQL data adapter A is equal to SQL data adapter. Here I am going to call my flow procedure. Okay. So I need to call all the uh, get all the students. Okay. okay so pass the so procedure name here. Okay. okay. So after that, data table. Data table. It is for two. Here, data table. Then after that, in that data, ta dot fill. What I want to fill is dt. Okay. After that, return value. Return dt. Okay, so it is now done. After that, what I want to do here, I need to fun add one more class library. Okay. Now. Add one more and click on that. So, class language, I will change the name as PAF. Okay, B is the set here. Okay, friends, so now click on the okay button. That is how this article I have created my own class. First, we need to use here and six something like using B A. Okay, using B A. Here, 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 
getting what you were already in us. Yes. So first we need to check what is the problem. So actually there is no problem. We need to touch the fence. Okay, so we need to add the fence here. Go to DA earlier. Okay. Not for DA. DA. Okay, it is not given. Add the fence. Add reference and after that DA earlier. Okay, after adding the reference, now it use this. Okay, now import this using D earlier. Now it is okay. Okay, so don't forget to uh, add the reference. Okay, otherwise you will get error. Okay, so after that we need to create the class with so public public class BL. Okay. BA class. Okay. After that, create the object of BA layer class. So, sorry, DA class. DA layer class, DA class, and DA OVJ. Okay, it's called to be DA class OVJ. So, it is created the object. Okay, so here two method is required for me. So, we have to create two method public void. Insert insert is print. Okay, insert is print. After that, we need to pass some value here. Okay, after that, I want to I need to pass here parameters. I will one more uh, method is required for me to object purpose public object and public. Okay. So now, so this is the object of class. So we need to return object dot get detail. Okay, that method is available in my previous class. You can see here get detail. Okay. Now we need to pass the parameters here. So string name and the image and the string is string code. Okay. So I already created the object of the class. So I am going to use this insert it okay after that what I want to insert here name as you can see here in the uh, intelligence name after that image after that uh, page after that books okay so it is now done after that what I want to do here now it is done okay uh, now I need to add the uh, reference here and reference. Add the reference and here I need to add the reference to BAL class. Okay. Here you can see the BL DL so there. Now it is done. Okay guys. Now go to my previous page that is not for default and create the uh, event handler for this program. Okay. In this first what I want to do is we already add the reference so I am going to use that. Okay. So after that we need to access some first page in the page load I need to uh, add this uh, and see here this drop down list at the time of when user will prepare that page so it is loaded for that purpose at the, this uh, page load we want to bind the drop down list for that purpose we need to first we need to do some namespace here 
first uh, SQL connector. Using system dot data. Using system dot data dot. Data reader. 
So thì mình bỏ thêm một cái lối dẫn đến để đặt connection này cũng phải đợi được thôi. Now I need to write the code for button save. Okay friends. So now I am going to write the code for event this button event. Okay. So first we need to uh, use BA class. Go to BA class object. So B E N class. I am going to create the object to be the is called to new bf ok so now object is created after that we need to find uh, with insert student ok so i need to pass so my text you can see here in this save this text id here txt name here txt email here txt field ok so i need to use this so uh, txt email as parameter now from the txt email ok so third parameter txt field after that tdl post ok but tdl post is selected index not index and selected item ok dot value ok dot value after that it is done so after that i need to bind the uh, my get view ok guys so so here we need to dot text ok here also dot text After that we need to bind grid view. So grid view. First we need to check the grid view name. Grid view one. Okay. So now grid view one. Okay. Grid view one dot data source. Data source. Okay. First we need to object dot select children okay after that we will work for we work for data one when the data one and everything is done okay friends so now check this this is unused so I'm going to delete this ok so now I am going to say I'm done this everything is ok so now first time there is uh, courses available but there is no string ok there is no string So, I hope you guys you will get some knowledge about how to work with retired architecture. Okay, so it is for it will it will help help you for taking the interview for machine learning. Okay. So now most of the companies, the small companies, are asking this example. That's why I am creating that example. It's the video for you. Okay. There is any error okay. and don't forget to watch my video on FTP. Okay, first step and, and with my YouTube channel name is FTP button for uh, FTP. Okay, so here also so there is all the questions are there, so you will get answer easily. Okay, friend. So it's taking some time before you take the next question. That's why we create till then. So, this code now. I will give you this code. Okay, I, all the link is available in the description box. So, now you can see our database is in program list. So, first, I want to add some uh, detail. 
Okay, suppose Peter. I want to Peter. Okay. Peter at the red gmail dot. Okay, please suppose. Uh, Is here and now it will find the drop down list. Now you can see here drop down list is available, it is showing our data. Put it here from from average gmail.com. Put it and suppose 45,000 is this, and of course, it's a PC. I'm going to add, I want to add one more data. Modi and Modi at the red gmail account. Okay, so it's a little Okay, be dead or enter. No problem. Okay, so this is all about how to work with theta uh, architecture in ASP Dominant. Okay. So now you need you understand how to bind the drop down list and how to work with theta architecture. So now it's time to uh, your for giving giving me the response. Okay, how it is work your if you have any doubt in this example, please give your comment in the uh, all the code is available in the description. Okay, friend? so now it it's time to give your feedback. So don't forget to give your feedback guys. Okay. So thank you guys and all the best. Keep watching and keep learning. So thank you. Actually I forget to one thing to show you. So I am going to show you. Okay. So first now let's understand the things. Actually I I haven't uh, seen you the data available in our database or not. So I am going to show you. Okay guys. So now see this database and you can see here three records are available okay guys so thank you and all the best don't forget to give your uh, feedback okay guys i am waiting for your feedback so if you till now did not subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe our youtube channel here you will get all the latest interview questions okay so thank you